We are on our way down to Georgia and we're making it a little bit of a business trip this time. We're doing some picking on the way down, we're doing some picking there, and we're doing some picking on the way up. On our way down, we're stopping in Forest, Virginia at the Peddler's Antique Mall. Super cute little place. It looks like it's an old schoolhouse or church. What are we, like 10 minutes outside of Lynchburg? 15? Like 10 miles outside. Yeah, something like that. Really interested in checking this place out. I'm not looking for anything particular. What are you looking for? Honey, maybe some, some nice doilies. Yeah, doilies for sure. I know how you like your doilies. Oh, fanatic. All right, guys, let's go shop. Thank you, cutie. got like a, a plaster feel 18 but the inside has got that crackle oh look there's a little key or something what is that i don't even know two little keys or something made in japan there's some colic medicine in there some what for animals colic and blue it's not cool 34 oh 398 that be something. The first thing we buy. I know. Giant mantle. Giant mantle immediately fill up the truck. <laughs> okay, this is I guess their space. Yeah, the whole, the yeah. whole wall. Yeah, all this down here. All ah. this, this whole little aisle. Yeah, those chandeliers are gorgeous. Look at this one with the mm. leaves. What is that? Two ninety five. Mm -hmm. That's kind of freaky for all blood diseases. <laughs> Eighty. Thirty two. I think that's just a print. Oh, I, I think. The book ends for $4. I was like, hello. What'd you find? 54. I thought that was a really cute bull planner. 38. It's got like an elk on this check. Oh, it's for the pelt. Oh, really? It's probably, uh, yeah, they definitely receipts. They don't make receipts like that anymore. Someone go back to making cute receipts. CVS. Cute mirror. I don't think it's super old, but... I like the design. Or was it? 95. There? Yes. 235 for the croc. I know who this is. I was literally just looking at her Instagram this morning. Mm. And I didn't even mean to end up here. Hmm. This is a good concept for the yard. Yeah. So chicken wire and uh -huh. frame. I can find these. From that lady in Stanton, even. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's such a good idea. Oh yeah, I like that. I like it too. That'd be great for the yard. That one area. Do you have branches? 50. What's that's your interesting. Kind of, um, style, I guess, you're searching for for luck and stuff. I actually really like this co these colors. Like this cream with the browns. Oh, we could do this with the. Do you still have the pine? Oh, was, look! <gasps> I think we gotta get that. I don't know if there's much meat on those bones for 24, but guys, hands are over here in forest come get them unfinished embroidery 39 they like sketched out the lines yeah. but they didn't complete it that's so pretty though love that blue cabinet it's a gun holster big blue cabinet one piece told it came out of an old dairy farm do you want to guess how price i didn't see it 16.50 you didn't see it huh oh that's wow. incredible babe <laughs> did you bet on the super bowl the other day I lost everything. Oh, I like that. 16. Ooh, I might have to do that for 12. And a stamp. And a stamp. Vegetable dish for 20. I like that. They like cut out uh -huh. the people and put it in the those like old portrait bubble frames is kind of what I call them. Over frame of vintage folks for 60 bucks. Just as a future reference for what to do with those frames. Victorious antiques. Oh shoot, Ooh, this place goes further back than I thought. Oh my gosh, there's more downstairs. <gasps> No, oh boy. Stone grapes for 26. Oh, that's a big set. Size comparison to Mike's head. Oh, <laughs> stand stale. I have a small head. Pretty big. Good price for that size. 85 on alabaster lamp with the shade.
kind of into this rattan mirror for 45. If it was in the 20s, I would totally do it, but I do like it. It's a good size. I think that would look amazing. I don't know. It would look pretty awesome in like a mid-century booth or if you wanted that little mid-century flare, I think that would look really great. Interesting shape. I like the gold pinstripe semi-porcelain. I like the matting on it and I really like the frame and the colors. Mm -hmm. What is this? Oh, it's one of those old school mats. They probably oh, probably yeah. An old school house. 150. It's huge. It's very big. What's an interesting lamp. 50. It gives me the popsicle stick lamp vibes, but it's carved wood. See? Carved wood on the base. And then just a very interesting shade. The scale's cool. 45. Here you go. These are lamps. Oh. Okay, they work. Maybe. 1864 from the US. 150. It's a cool ashtray for 40 from 1981. Oh. He's nice. Yeah. Kind of those it's ones. the same style. Mm hmm. Brass vase. $20. 20 This guy. Can you pull this guy out? Ooh, blanket. Oh, I really like it. Polar bear. The polar bear hide in no Forest, price. Virginia. No price. No price? It's not in the hair somewhere? They used to be on the back where they put stickers. Not always. We could ask them. Hmm? I'm just, well, what are, they, what are they charging for these more plain ones? And that'll kind of give us an idea. <laughs> the price is ripped off. Must be free. <laughs> <laughs> Can you ask her? Because this would be a good luck it's piece. All right, he's going to see if we can get a price on that. Duck for 100 Wait, what is are it, they? Is it for a sink? or a, It's a spigot of some sort. Oh, it's a soda fountain control. Is it really? It's a tap. Well, look at the oh, embellishments on this one. Oh, I know. See soda. Ah, let me see. I wonder if this adds like carbonation. Oh, do they add it all together or it's carbonation and I don't know. What's the price on there? Oh, it's Ooh. for both of them. Oh, that's what it is. 350 for both? 350 for both. Ooh, I see some purses. This booth is beautiful. Ooh, another etched face. What's the price on that? Yes. I would price it for 36, but I'm gonna guess that it is 18. 24. Really? So middle. Cute, cute. All right, I'm trying to refrain from buying any more project <laughs> vessels. <laughs> this shell mirror is only 26. 16 on this rattan mirror. Very similar to the one that's upstairs, just smaller. It says metal and oval. Oh, wait. Ah, it is metal. Faux rattan, interesting. It says Lucy on it, but it's big and it's only $16. It's nice. It's very nice. Cutie, I might have to do this one. Another bag for 12 and I love these vintage carpet bags. Nice inside too, what's that say? Burlington. Ooh, okay. So that means we have to make the extra effort to find the biggest piece possible so the corner in the piece? basement. I don't like the corner piece. Oh, I love that corner piece. No, I don't. Oh, it's so pretty. No. It doesn't look that heavy. For you, because you won't have to lift it. I'm just kidding, you do plenty of heavy lifting. What was that? You do plenty, I'm sorry. Mm, I like this old, what is it, a Hoosier cabinet? Or just an old baker's cabinet? Old Hoosier. Or Hoosier. Kitchen Four cabinet. Miles. 400 So what, 80 bucks? 10%, yeah. So 320 That's actually a really great price for this piece. Mm -hmm. Ironstone. We got some ironstone. Everybody, everybody, stay calm. Amanda, relax. You okay? You're hot. <sighs> you feel hot. Check the price. Check the price. Hurry. You Hurry. Okay? It's faded. I can't read it. Oh, boy. What is it? I just, I'm curious about your guess. Usually those faces mean that it's over 80. Oh yeah. What? Oh yeah. Really? Let me oh see. yeah. 
That's ridiculous, <gasps> right? The bowl and the pitcher, oh, 195. Okay, it, together. Yeah, I've seen those prices before. I can't sell them for that, but I have seen those prices. I think this mirror is 25. I mean, it's got some wear, but I don't mind that. Mm -hmm. And I sell them with that wear on them all the time. More cool pieces? Dang, over a thousand. Oh yeah. Shoot, That's, that is cool. Ooh, I like these chairs. Lord. Same price as that bitch. What's it? Ooh, I like those pieces that are tucked behind the nicer pieces. <laughs> But I see some marble. Nightstand with the marble top. It's Walmart, or Walmart. Oh my gosh. It's Walnut though for 450, but I bet if we made a phone call. Look at the door though. I bet I could, Ugh. I don't know. Well, the doors come out okay. Hmm. So bad. I know, but it's not too warped. You got one, both hinges, one hinge. Both hinges, so that's fixable. And then that bottom piece also looks kind of fixable. I don't know. It is nice though with the marble. That has some beautiful marble. Mm -hmm. Dark gray. Yeah, and I do love like what I would do with this piece is clean it up, fix it, and then I would just seal all this beautiful chippiness in. Let's just ask about it. Maybe they'll give us a deal. I know it's 450, but oh, I have a feeling it's been sitting back here for a hot minute. I also like this. Do you see this piece back here? It's another little washstand with the carved detailing. I can add, don't worry about hardware missing because I would probably do glass hardware on this. Is it the original top? If I lift it up, it's missing. Woo. Which we could find. Well, I have that top. marble exactly. stair. But no door. No door. But I don't mind that so much. Yeah, actually, it's not that bad. No, but I would need to pay like under 100 for it. We can ask about this piece too. All right, back to what I was looking at. These chairs actually feel pretty solid. I don't see a price tag though. Five of them. For a side table, a little 95. It has like a mid-century look too. It's so That's interesting. That's the first place in our house. <laughs> wow, 4,000. Ooh, onyx face. This should be our front door. Hold on, hold on. 60 for this piece. I'm sorry, what should be on our front door? <laughs> yes. Ooh, 75 for the so pitcher okay. and the bowl. A little better. It's way better. It's actually bigger. For these pieces, the only time I would pay that price if it was that cleaner line look, the more simple pieces, these don't sell as well for me. So I'm going to hold back and let somebody else find it. There's some ironstone pieces in here that could be promising. This little milk pitcher. Very cute. Ooh, got some good crazing. What do we got on that? Oh, that, that ain't terrible. The margins are meh, but there's some other interesting pieces in here. This one with the pink. I think is really interesting, cute. 22. Oh, it's kind of got like a little waffle design on mm -hmm. the spout area. I love this, all this. I've seen some interesting pieces where they've had bl little blobs of color, like pink and teal and blue. And usually it's a manufacturing thing that happened back in the day. Can you check that that big piece for me? I'm, I'm gonna leave it there. I'm thinking 75. I'm thinking 75 too. Ooh, 60. Ooh, yeah. that's about what I would sell it for. And then that little guy up top right above. Mm -hmm. Yep. 20. 20? Yep. Yeah, that's about right. I'm gonna leave those for somebody else to find. They're, they're kind of at the top end of what I could sell them for already, or they're just a little under of what I would sell them for, to be honest. 
but I'm gonna leave them for someone else to find, but they're good prices. I, that one's really cool. Gold, 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 gold. Dang it. It's a nice box though. Mm -hmm. What is that, horn? Carved horn yeah. or bone or something with the brass engraving? Mm -hmm. Gosh, it almost looks Shell. like, yeah. Really? Mm. What do you think it is? It says shell. I think it's bone. But I, you think it's I bone? It's beautiful. I'm going to do the two furniture pieces. Okay. We're heading down to Georgia. On our way back up, could we pick those up or mm -hmm. come? We're in Virginia, so yeah. we're not too far away. We can come back and pick them up. I'm still thinking about that display case piece. I'm not 100% sure, okay. but I'll do the two furniture pieces. Right. I'll get you to put your name. Okay. Today's the 12th? 13th. 13th. Oh, no. Ask how I know. I've Ooh. been writing 12th oh. all day long. I'm all mixed up. Yeah. Me too. <laughs> what a cute little stop. Oh, my gosh. How Ooh. did you know that was a schoolhouse, by the way? It just looks like it. It just looks like a schoolhouse. Right? It's like a post office. But, man, we found some good stuff. I ended up doing those two little wash stands, the one with the marble top and the one that was missing the top, made offers and he negotiated a little bit, but we made a deal. Still thinking about that display cabinet. I'm not really sure. I don't even know if I showed it on camera actually, but it's a skinny, it almost looks like a old school or church bulletin board that has the glass doors, real skinny. I need to think about that one a little bit because I'm not sure how I would use it for a display or what it could be used for exactly. I'm dreaming that up, but we got time to think about it. We're going to pick up those pieces on our way back up from Georgia, so I might make that investment then. But I think the real star of the show was this. Sheepskin. <laughs> yeah, sheepskin. Got such a good deal on it. This is gonna be a great Luckett's piece. I can see it in my mind there. Also picked up that beautiful hand-tooled piece, probably from the 70s. It does say Lucy across here, but it's not super prominent. Overall, this piece is in really, really good shape. And I always sell the tooled leather. It does really well for me whenever I have it. This little ironstone piece, I've seen them used as a soap dish or a brush holder, and I think it's missing a top, but I could be wrong. I'll have to Google lens this and make sure I'm correct. And then finally, the beautiful frames, one with the mirror in it with a little bit of damage, but for the price, I'm willing to do it. It works with everything else that we found. I have those glass guys, and they have filled oh, yeah. really nice frames for me before with a mirror. They're really reasonable on their mirror prices and uh, for the price that just that frame was. I mean, it's it's in near perfect condition. But we need to get back on the road and head oh. the rest of the way to Georgia. We didn't get very far <laughs> from home. And so we got some driving to do. See you guys in the next video. Bye.